Hello everyone, this is Suyog. Welcome to my channel, Learn Tableau with Suyog. Also, please subscribe to my channel uh, as I will be posting more videos like this one to help you build your interactive resume in Tableau Public and also help you learn Tableau one visualization at a time. So far in this video series in my interactive resume, we have learned how to create institution of the company, timeline, tools, and also a speedometer chart. In this video, I will show you how you can create this responsibility and location visualizations. We'll start with responsibilities. For that, in my Google Sheet, I'm gonna add a one more sheet by clicking on this plus icon. I'm gonna rename this to responsibilities. In this sheet, I have mentioned all my roles and responsibilities during each tenure. Now, let's connect this to Tableau. So, in order to bring that, you can go to any visualizations you created and you can right click on this data source and you can click on refresh. Once the data source is refreshed, you can go back to data source and as you can see, the responsibilities tab is showing up here. So you simply drag and drop that sheet here. So Tableau automatically join that sheet to timeline and it will be based on this education and experience common field. So in order to create that responsibility table, just click on this icon here and create a new sheet. So here you can simply bring responsibilities to the rows from responsibility sheet. In the data, we have all the responsibilities as bullet points, but as you can see, uh, those bullet points are not shown here. But if you hover around, uh, you can see all those bullet points are showing here. So in order to show those all bullet points in one cell, you can simply click on this and drag down. And yeah, as you can see, all the bullet points in one, one cell. So we're gonna rename this. And there you go, you successfully created responsibility table. I will show you how, how you can filter only the relevant responsibilities when you select a company or institution in my interactive resume. But I will cover that when I put together in dashboard. So now let's create location visualization. For that simply I will create a new sheet by clicking on this plus icon. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that the location should be categorized as geographical data, but here Tableau has categorized this as a string. So you can change that by clicking this drop down. And assign a geographic role, this location to a city. So with this change, you might have noticed the Tableau has auto generate a latitude and longitude. So you can simply bring the longitude to column and latitude to the row. And this will create a map. So you simply drag location to the label. and it should show all the locations on a map. So here Halifax is only showing on the map and you can see there are like three unknown cities. It's not 
Tableau is not able to recognize those cities. So if you click on this three unknown, then you will get like three options here. Either you can edit those locations manually or you can filter that data from the Tableau so it will just not consider those so Tableau will not consider those cities in the visualization and the third option is show the data at default position so it will show all those cities at a, a island called a null island so if you click on this as you can see it's been showing somewhere in the sea so this is the null island but you don't want to see those cities uh, on a null island you want to see those cities to its proper location so you you need to edit these locations and here the reason it's only recognizing Halifax as a city is by default it's taking country and region as Canada so you can simply click on none and now as you can see it's recognizing all the all the three cities from India and it's not now recognizing Halifax so to fix that you can simply click on this drop down and enter uh, a latitude and longitude for Halifax I will just google that simply click OK and now as you can see all the cities are showing to its proper location and then there you go you successfully created a location visualization so now we have finished creating all the visualizations which are needed to create an interactive resume so in next video I will show you how you can put together all those created visualizations into a dashboard and how you can format your dashboard and how you can make it interactive and also I will cover how you can insert hyperlinks to your dashboard so stay tuned